You have an assistant. Today we have Diane Nito and Mark Turcott doing the November real estate update. Perfect. I got my helper. I got my assistant here today helping me with uh, Christmas cards, Mark. That's awesome. Keep her yeah. busy. I'm How keeping her busy. Time? Yep. Time of year for everybody. Yeah. So okay. um, I did uh, Innisfil and Barry, and I don't really know what you want to talk about first. Okay. So let's hold off Innisfil. Let's chat about Barry. Let's go kind of through um, what in kind of walk the viewer through sales this year versus last year. I think that's great information to see how far they're off. And we all know there is transactions that are off, which is normal this time of year, and which has been normal all year long. Um, let's talk a little bit about the pricing that we see currently. We, we can briefly, you know, go into other time periods, but more of what we're seeing throughout the year, it's kind of flat and share some information on the inventory. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll just give you the first thing is just the summary and then we can break it down. All right, go. Okay, so November of 2022, okay. 143 sold, mm -hmm. 342 active, mm -hmm. 342. Active listings. And the average was 704. That's, the that's what they're saying, the average price. Okay. Now so, the average average over the whole year was eight forty two, which is a little bit more reflective, right? Because just per month it doesn't really matter, but that's eleven months, so it's a little bit not too bad. But the problem is of November twenty twenty three, actives are six hundred twenty three, where last year we were at three forty two. So let me ask you. So, so you got you got the you got the numbers where the active listings last year, November year year over year two thousand twenty two were three forty two, and now basically we have doubled the inventory. Is that correct? Correct. Wow. Eh? And, and so, and last year the sales there was one hundred forty three in November, and this year one hundred and thirty. Yeah. So let's talk about that. So here's how I'm seeing that those numbers being communicated. A lot more listings this year versus last year. And, you know, we have to keep into account that there is people out there that have, you know, renewed time, coming renewal, selling, you know, like panicking. That's kind of fearful what's going to happen. We don't know. So a lot of that's being in the mix. But what I'm kind of surprised too is the sales aren't that much off in a sense, right? Like, you know, not that bad in a sense. And when we talk about, pricing pricing is still you know all, if you look year over year is pretty flat to last year okay but so the, listen to the, the actions well, are down listen this is the thing that surprised me so last year year to date so from from january to no the end of november there was 2250 sales total this last year, year last year 20 this year 2105 so it's down six and a half percent Still not bad considering considering for 2023 was a historical year for interest rate increases. They've never done that before. Right. At all. The There's increase. just a lot more inventory. But the thing is that kind of freaked me out is the average price. And and you know, me and you don't I don't pay attention to that. I don't think people should. That's me. I but never the average price over the year and the median price over the year, both of them. Are down ten percent. So last year the average was eight forty two. Now it's seven fifty four. Yeah. This year, last year eight fifteen. Now seven thirty for the medium. But that's because none of the expensive listings are selling. Right. That's where I'm going with it. Yes. So I'm glad you brought it up before I did. But that's exactly it. What we saw this this year, and and as we progress through twenty twenty three, the higher price point properties continually, continually were under a lot of pressure. Right. Yeah, they're not they're not selling. So not selling. So no, not, because no one can get a no one can get approved for the flip right. mortgages. Right. So when we talk about median, we talk about average price, it's going to get weighted down. It's not and it's not a it's not a true reflection of the market. I hate using it. I never use it. I don't even talk about it because it means shit at the end of the day. No, I know. I know. Right? I know. But let's talk about, you know what I mean? Considering transactions are down and million dollar properties and over hard sales today but 
the prices aren't that far off of last year and all the rate hikes. People should be talking about that a bit more. And, and they're I, down a little bit. Like you and I saw, like the old the townhouses used to be around seven. Now they're six fifty, six seventy five. They're down a little bit, but they're not down by the same volume of the sales decrease at no, all. No, and so, well, that's friend. another thing I kind of did right. Right. So, right now, um. 99 sales of freeholds in the month, but 52 or 55% are under 700. Yeah. And they're mostly townhouses and semis and stuff. Yeah. It's a small detach. It's up by the college and some other areas. They're 1100 square feet. Yeah. But, and we've seen that all year round. We've seen that all, all, all throughout 2023 is that the lower price point continue to drive the market. Okay, and you want to know something that's scary? So do you remember we were talking about like how much inventory over a million dollars and we were in double digits, 10%, 9%, you know? Yep. yep. So now there was 16 sales between seven and 800,000 mm-hmm. and there's 78 listings. Yep. 86 listings between 800, 900, 20 sales. Yep. 57 listings between 900 and a million. Yeah. Over si- just six, just over 5%. Yeah. And the million, 125 listings, five yeah. sold. Yeah. Not even 1%. Yep. Yeah. And November's not a good month. We didn't see it last year being, and some Novembers are, last couple of years, no. People are occupied and say, and the demand has dropped off. So if people want to turn a property or need to sell, they're going to have to be open to price reductions or, you know, not hold that. Well, I don't get this price. I ain't selling attitude because that ain't November and that ain't sure as hell December. Right. And no. to be honest, anyone that's looking at the market can educate their buyer and, and, and say, Hey, offer this. I think they'd take it 30, 40 days in the market is not uncommon for even properties in six to seven range. The buyer has a little bit of choice and that buyer today is not, is not rushing in to grab a, they're going to, they're going to look at 10 or 20 before they make a decision. Yes. Well, you know, what's scary to me though, is the sales were only off by 13. I know that's not that bad. It's not that bad. No, but the inventory is doubled. 100%. 100%. So that's why it's so bad. <laughs> 100%. There's a lot of inventory. And and typically in any any market, more supply price goes down. Commodities, everything. Stock market, financial, say more supply. Hey, valuations are going to go down. Interest rate increases, valuations are going down. But we really didn't see, we've seen that happen very fast in 2022 with you know how far price come down from the peak. We really didn't see it 2023. No, no, you know what I mean? They kind There's of just... a touch. There there was a touch, but yeah. nothing nothing that correlates with the percentage of uh sale decrease. No. It doesn't it doesn't correlate with it. It doesn't not not even close. Not even close. So here's here's my thing. So what's going to happen in, in in the new year possibly if we see cuz everyone's the buzzword is all oh, even in the US all oh, the Fed's going to drop interest rates. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I don't think it's going to come in the U.S. anytime soon, but in Canada, I do. Is that going to get some people off the couch? Well, listen, you want to hear the funniest thing? I was in Shoppers Drug Mart and I had a client call me and they were asking me about interest rates. And I was on the phone because I was on the way to a part, uh, my an anniversary party. So I took the call and I I said to my client, well, I've heard that 75% of the mortgages at yeah. renew in 2025. Yeah. And the government knows everybody's screwed. So yeah. they, they got to do something. Yeah, they There's do. a man standing beside me looking at greeting cards. Yeah. He goes, you're absolutely right. My wife's a mortgage agent. Yeah. yeah I don't funny. know this guy from nothing. Yeah. And he starts saying like, th- this is the thing in 2025. Yeah. Yeah. No one, there are so many renewals, 75%. Yeah, that's a lot. Everybody's like, going to lose their house, Mark, because they can't pay double. They can't pay double. No, they so can't. the feds are going to have to lower the rates. Yeah, or yes, yes, they do. And they should take the fucking restrictions off with this stupid 
goddamn stress test. That should yes. come out the door. That should be gone bye byes for sure. Get some demand going up and go back to some longer amortizations. Back in 2006, seven, there's a 40 year amortization. That needs to come back. Sorry. You can go to 30, I think. Some lenders a little bit more, but CMHC, you can't go more than 25. Correct. They have to come up with some solutions. And I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of confidence in this liberal government to do that. I watched a goddamn little clip on TikTok with that bozo deputy prime minister Freeland talking about, well, you know, there's 250,000 people that have signed up for the home buyers program and putting money away. And we're going to help them. 40 million people. You're proud of that? What's that going to do? The average person to save for a down payment today is 20 years at these prices. Oh, not only that, I, I tell my people not even to get involved in that because if you sell it within, a, I don't know how many years, you have yeah. to give them 10%. This is yeah. a money-making thing yeah. for the government. Yeah, it is. It's terrible. It's just terrible. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And I hope rates are down enough and I hope they, they're, but I know they're thinking about it because there's some things that I'm seeing on some social medias that, ooh, they better start working on it now. Because well, listen, I, I'm going to tell you something else. I'm getting a lot of comments on our things that we're, we're out to lunch, that um, the market's not going to pick up. It's going to crash even more. Um, but it hasn't and, Market's not going to. We're not seeing it. We didn't see it this year at all. People are still reading into oh, the where the peak was. Well, that's gone and that's long gone now. We're not getting back there. We're not getting back there next year. No. But the following year is a big possibility. If we're again, what's the goal where everyone's got to renew? Hmm. I think interest rates are going to be down, right? I think I think it has to because the government has like they can't let the banks have people walking away from houses. Yes. There's risk. A and large. then and then what's going to happen if all the banks start going under, you know, like people don't think of the grand scheme, it's like the big plan. And the big plan is if everybody was walking away from mortgages, the bank, the, the government would have to bail the banks out. Happened in the U.S. 2007. Yeah, they have to. Have to. So, no so do you honestly believe that this government is going to allow that to happen? No. Nope. I'm glad they're talking about it. Let's see see if it gets some traction and some planning comes out of this because uh, that's the biggest thing that has to happen right now, right? We need to see that come out. We need to see some things coming out because I sure would want to be one of those buyers. I mean, those homeowners right today that going, holy shit, like we're coming due here in 2025 here. These, we can't afford it. We can't afford this then. My clients that are in that boat tell me they're not even going to think about it. Diane, I would not be able to sleep. I, I couldn't sleep at night. No, no. Oh, you know what, Thea? You're my assistant today. Yeah. You should say, if you like this video of Mark and Diane, hit the like, subscribe, or drop us a comment. Do it. Do it. If you like this video. No, you do it now. You do it before the end. Go. If you like Diane Nita or Mark Turcott, subscribe, leave a like, or hit the bell button. Perfect. Thank you. But we always forget to do that. Yeah, we do. You need to <laughs> remind us. So thank you. Yeah. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And, you know, I think things are intact. And, you know, we we watch things closely. We're not seeing things fly off. We're seeing better financial stability. But Mark, yeah. I was actually shocked that the sales numbers weren't that far off. It feels like oh the market's God. dead. Well, because we're not busy. This is the time of year, right? Where we're not busy. There's still things going on. I was I was at the at Gates and Boards today getting my boots worked on. And a lady sat down and tried some boots on. And she was talking to one of her friends that walked in and says, you know, we just listed our house on, I think they said Thursday. And we got an offer on Sunday. And I didn't say nothing. I just went, hmm. and so I just, yeah, I was sold within a couple of days. So well, there are, that is happening. Well, it's and, and I, it is, it is. Now, another thing that's kind of shocking to me, okay? Because I did, what I did was up until, so today's December 11th. 
So I did from the beginning of December till today. Yep. This year, 33 sold. So Last far? year, 42. So it's not far off. Get this though. This year, four over a million. Okay. Four between eight and 900. Okay. Last year, four over a million. Mm-hmm. Only two between eight and 900. Wow. So the number actually in the higher prices went up. Yeah. 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 Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah. And so last year, the numbers went up higher. They sold more million dollar properties last year than this no. year. No. This year we did. Yeah. 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 No, it's crazy. They still <laughs> sell. If you match the right buyer and the right seller together in the right product, it's going to sell. But it's got to be, and no one could time that. Let's be honest. Holy cow. We've been waiting for a property to come up in the area. They're not waiting. They're jumping. Oh, I had a showing at my one in Ramara, the brand new build. And I had an agent call there. They might be putting an offer. They're interested. Yeah. People are still out there, Mark. People are, yeah. you know, they're, they're still looking at houses. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Okay. I think, I think we covered some good points. I think we covered some numbers, we covered a lot of last year's stuff where we are in December. Yep. I think we're good. I think we're good. Say okay. see you, Thea. Say bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> she did a good job. Great job. Awesome. Thank you.